met Henry some three years ago in Paris. He was an olfactory chemist, an expert on smells, and created perfumes for Paris's most famous fashion house. Henry had approached me with a proposition for which he required financial backing. In fact, it was a very interesting proposition, one that a sporting man such as myself could hardly refuse. Henry's real ambition had always been to create one special perfume. As he put it, the only one that counts. Ah! I went completely wild. I must have ripped all my clothes off. So number 1076 is the one. May I smell it? Of course. Not that it will have any effect upon a woman. Mr Cornelius will be so pleased. Good morning, Henry. Ah, Oswald, it's good to see you. It had been quite a while since I'd been to the laboratory. I used to drop in maybe a couple of times a month, but when results failed to come quickly, I began to lose all interest. Well, how do you do? But that day was different. I wanted to be around to share the fun. So, tell me what happened. Look, this is the most precious fluid in the entire world. I took just one tiny sniff. Just one tiny sniff. I can't remember what happened to me exactly next. I was like a dangerous animal. Hunting for a woman. Any woman. Lucky is Simone. Lucky indeed, seeing as today of all days she was late for work. So, who did you find? Nobody, thank God. The effect wore off almost as suddenly as it came upon me. Mm. No, the next step is to make a controlled experiment under scientific conditions. For that I shall have to spray a measured amount of perfume onto the woman, and let a man approach her. Why don't I go out into the street, holding my nose, and spray the first woman who comes along? You can watch from the window here. Should be fun. It might be fun, Oswald, but not very scientific. That is why I must make the tests indoors under controlled conditions. And I'll play the male part. I'm afraid not, Oswald. I'm afraid I cannot take any chances. That is why I've employed the most strongest and toughest young man I could find. George Briggs, a professional boxer. You mean you've already done this? Certainly. I'm impatient and I want to get on. And the woman? Who will you use there? Simone, of course. Does she realise what might happen to her? Very much so. Simone is a scientist, not a schoolgirl, Oswald. Oh, that'll be George now. I believe the fellow came thinking he was going to act in a saucy film. Oh. The business with the nose George. plugs Hello. must have quickly disillusioned him. Gentlemen, could you pop these nose plugs in for me, please? Thank you. Simone, we're ready to begin. Let's get going. Are you ready? I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm ready. Simone, you will sit in that chair. Yes, Professor. And you, George, will stand on the four-yard mark with your nose plug still in. We'll need photographs as proof of our achievement here today. I wish, first of all, to discover the effective range, the exact distance he is from the subject when the molecules hit. And does he uh, start with his clothes on? Exactly as he is now. And the lady, is she expected to cooperate or uh, resist? Neither. She must be a purely passive instrument in his hands. So, you spray something on a girl and I walk to water. Exactly. There's nothing to it. Get ready, please, Simone. Wait! Let her have it, Henry. Take your nose plugs out, please. Drop the plugs. Walk forward slowly. Start walking. He ripped 
off her white overall, her dress and her underclothes. There is little point in describing exactly what went on during the next few minutes. You can guess most of it anyway. 30 seconds. I'm not a voyeur. I hate that sort of thing. But in this case, I stood there absolutely transfixed. 45 seconds. The sheer animal ferocity of the man was frightening. And right in the middle of it all, Henry did an interesting thing. What did I do? My dear young man, you are simply wonderful. Don't worry about a thing. The £500 is all yours. Spray me again. Oh, please, Professor, spray me just one more time. The experiment is over, Simone. Now go away and dress yourself. Please. Yes, Simone. The morning brought bad news. That lecherous little Simone had apparently sprayed herself with the entire remaining stock of number 1076. When the molecules hit him, the poor fellow didn't even stand a chance. He was dead within a minute. Killed in action, as they say, and that was that. The infernal woman might at least have waited until he'd written down the formula. As it was, Henry left not a single note. The secret of number 1076 was lost forever. <laughs>